Hi, how's it going? My name is Rob Daniels. I'm the video content creator for Toronto Recruiters. I sure hope you're well. And uh, I'm here today to check in to get you the latest on what's happening in the recruiting industry for the week of May the 3rd. Uh, we will begin with uh, the topic of Zoom and battling Zoom fatigue. Perhaps you are battling that. Well, here's how HR can uh, help exhausted workers. Uh, you see, while many younger workers, such as those from Gen Z or tech savvy, they aren't immune to exhaustion from Zoom meetings. Nearly two-thirds of workers aged 18 to 24 say they experience mental and emotional stress from spending too much time in front of webcams. To help exhausted workers, researchers recommend the following. Number one, recognize the value of small talk, even when it occurs online. Insert some personal conversation, even if it's mundane, in order to connect with your team. Number two, keep the invites to a minimum and the video conference group small. Have uh, targeted specific meetings for each group to make use of everybody's time wisely. And uh, smaller groups are easier to manage and people are less likely to feel uncomfortable than they are with larger groups. Let employees decide if they want to be on camera. That's another one. Acknowledge that some of your staff may not feel comfortable showing their faces or their personal spaces. Let camera viewing be optional. Virtual calls are here to stay, but as with everything else, keep things in moderation. We're going to talk a little bit about now about the future of work, and it is looking quite different for everyone. Employee experience has significantly changed over the past year from Daily commutes to remote work, many organizations have shifted their operations. Uh, study shows, uh, rather, study shows that 51% uh, of remote employers, employees report an increase in productivity. Millennials and Gen Z are over three times more likely uh, than baby boomers to feel connected in their work environment. 53% of respondents said that longer term remote work could convince them to stay with their companies. 10% are likely to quit if they are forced back to the office full time and 80% want the opportunity to live anywhere. Redesigning the work experience largely depends on the employer's flexibility. Workplace trends are moving in different directions and each industry pivots in different ways. Uh, managers, we're gonna talk a little bit about managers here, 41% of managers are more depressed than they were last year. Research from MetLife has found that managers are currently 41% more likely to report feeling depressed and 14% more likely to report feeling burned out compared to this time in 2020. The study also reveals that 32% of employees said that their managers are not equipped to ensure that well-being uh, to ensure the well-being of their team. If managers themselves report feeling stressed and overwhelmed, how can they help their equally stressed out teams? According to the research, it all comes down to compassion, empathy, and support. 72% of employees say that having a supportive manager would improve their mood, and 70% said it would definitely uh, alleviate their stress. Toronto allocates a, a, an additional two uh, Toronto allocates additional $2 million for mental health supports in areas hit in areas hard hit by COVID-19. Toronto will be investing an additional $2 million to, to community groups and nonprofit organizations to aid them in addressing mental health issues in the city. The funding is being distributed to seven community-based mental health organizations that are a part of the city's mental health support strategy. Additionally, funds will go to 18 other partner agencies that specialize in addressing mental health concerns. The groups will provide a range of services, including virtual one-on-one -on -one and group counseling sessions and increased crisis support via dedicated crisis phone lines. According to Mayor John Tory, services are free for Toronto residents and can be accessed 24-7 by calling 211 or visiting 211.ca. We have some, uh, some hot jobs that we are recruiting for through our recruitment division at torontojobs.ca. Uh, number one, a sales representative, and that's to join our team right here at torontojobs.ca. So you can work from anywhere in Canada. That's a neat little perk for you. Uh, and then there's also uh, evaluations associate 
uh, or manager in the Toronto area and a controller accounting services in the Richmond Hill area. If you're inter interested in more information for any of these positions, please feel free to email resumes at torontojobs.ca or visit torontojobs.ca. You hover over the quote recruitment division tab at the top and select quote recruitment openings. From there, you can apply directly online to the positions. Now, we also have some top candidates that uh, Toronto Recruiters is representing. They are a senior manager, 15 plus years of experience in the Brampton area, an office accounting manager, 10 plus years in Toronto, and an account manager, seven plus years experience in customer service. If you're interested in any of these candidates, please email sales at torontojobs.ca. If you're interested in any of these candidates, uh, uh, or rather, yeah, you can email uh, sales at torontojobs.ca and uh, get more information there. Now, uh, as far as upcoming virtual events are, concern, are concerned, we have a few. They are presented by torontojobs.ca, a financial advisors conference Tuesday, May 4th. So that's tomorrow from 2 to 4 in the afternoon, a Canadian virtual sales management conference this Wednesday, May the 5th, 2 to 4 in the afternoon. We also have a virtual Canadian, uh, we have a virtual Canadian immigrants conference happening Thursday, May 6th, also this week, 2 to 4 in the afternoon, and a student career conference happening next week, Wednesday, May 12th, from 2 to 4 in the afternoon. Visit torontojobs.ca slash news for more information on our virtual events. You can check out our new events website at eventlogic.ca as well. That's logic with a K.ca, sponsorship and exhibitor options uh, also available. Are you looking to hire staff? You can email sales at torontojobs.ca. Let us know what you're looking for and uh, feel free to follow us on all our Toronto uh, jobs or rather our Toronto recruiters.ca social media. That'd be greatly appreciated. We are definitely active on our social media channels and look forward to interacting with you. We're connected on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Instagram. Uh, if you'd like, you can always take a look at our Toronto Recruiters YouTube channel. That's for videos on recruiting strategies and other, and other tips that can help you in your role. All right, there you have it. The latest in the recruiting industry for this week of May the 3rd. Once again, thank you so much for joining me here. I hope you and your family are staying well. My name is Rob Daniels, the video content creator for Toronto Recruiters. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and uh, look forward to speaking with you next week.